Today we're in Roatan, Honduras, uh, still on Regal Princess. Uh, we've been to Roatan many times. Uh, today we will not be going to the beach, but we'll be going into the shopping area. Uh, this is Mahogany Bay. Mahogany Bay is a facility uh, created and owned by Carnival Corporation. Uh, only Carnival ships call here, uh, such as Princess, Holland America, Costa, and certainly Carnival. Um, very nice place. As I say, we've been here before. There is another port, another dock here in uh, Roatan where uh, other cruise lines dock. Uh, been there many times. It's, it's an older dock. They have uh, improved the facilities there. However, there's not a lot at that particular dot to, uh, dock to do, so you would have to take an excursion from there. Here at Mahogany Bay, there is shopping, and there's a very well-equipped beach uh, with food, with uh, uh, kayak rentals, floaty rentals, that sort of thing, things for the kids to do. There's a sky ride, um, food, as I say, uh, lounge chairs, well-kept-up beach. It's a very nice place, uh, certainly worth uh, worth the stop, worth getting down, uh, even if you're not planning an excursion to do anything else. Uh, it's a short walk from the dock here. You're going, of course, you have to go through the obligatory uh, duty-free shop, but it's not a big deal. Uh, not an unpleasant walk. It's a very pretty place. walk probably looks worse than it really is but uh, once you get through the duty-free area the uh, the duty-free shop you you walk here into the the shopping plaza um, and all this the places that you would expect to see if you've been in the Caribbean on, on cruises before Diamonds International Terry Loha uh, all these places are here uh, there is a uh, a bar with some dining as well very nice, very well kept up. And you might also catch your excursions here if you are taking one from here. Del Sol, another standby in the Caribbean, obviously. We didn't have any particular plans here. We were looking for t-shirts, that sort of thing, and uh, just walking around the area, going in and out of some of the shops. To the right will bring you toward the uh, to the beach, but we're going to take a left first, walk among the shops, and we'll make our way back. As you can see, it's a very well kept up place and uh, not crowded. Uh, certainly, when one ships here, it, it's it's not crowded at all. Island Outfitters. Another place that you see in many locations. There is a craft market here, uh, manned by locals, selling their local goods or whatever goods they have to sell. Didn't walk in there on this occasion. Not sure what the shopping vibe is like in there. I don't know if you can negotiate very well. I don't know what the situation is. There's also a Harley Davidson shop if you want to get that type of souvenir as well. ship there in the background. You're never very far from the ship. Now as you walk to the beach you'll see there is a, a little bridge area that you have a nice photo opportunity to take a picture with the ship behind you. Nice selfie location. I think we have a previous video from a previous cruise that shows the beach in much more detail. This is kind of the uh, the bar area here, and again, I think some some limited dining. There is kind of a sky tram kind of thing that you can ride for extra cost if you want to get to the beach that way. Although the walk is not bad at all, very scenic, very pretty. Slight incline, not not terrible. Easy walk.
very lush, pretty and green. But it's the kind of place, as I say, even if you're not contemplating an excursion, easy stop, get off and at least stretch your legs, walk around, spend the day. There's also a kind of a side arc that arcs around Nature Trail. It will bring you back to this, this pathway again. Hammock if you're just too beat to walk. But again, as you can see, maybe a gentle incline, then a decline. It's it's uh, it's easy. Right up here on the right is where the uh, nature trail will, will re uh, re meet the pathway here and get you back, uh, get you toward the beach. Under the sign, across the bridge, and you will be at the beach area. As you can see, to the right, it'll be the cruise ship. Good photo op. To the left is a rental area where you can rent kayaks and paddle, boat, paddle uh, boats and floaties. They're all kind of things for the kids on the island, uh, on the beach as well. So it's a very nice place. Well worth a visit. Well worth getting down. Don't just stay on the ship. Get down and walk around. And I think you'll enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this visit to Row 10, and thanks for watching.